After finding out I'm pregnant and putting our van life on hold, we've been busy adjusting to life back in Tokyo as soon-to-be first-time parents, taking up a few new belly-safe hobbies and watching him get up to old ones. And of course, ensuring our car is roadworthy for the year and for our now regular hospital visits. Throughout this time, we've also been compiling short vlog updates of our feelings and progression through my first trimester of pregnancy in Japan. So here's how things have been going, all starting from our very first scan. So, the date is the 24th of November 2023. If you are watching this, you may or may not know that I am pregnant. <laughs> Still hasn't really set in yet. We are at week six and two days in theory. I say in theory because right now our baby is too small to figure out exactly how old it is, but that is the estimated age. So last week we went to the hospital and we had our first ultrasound and we got to see our little sack of cells growing in here. <laughs> Today we are heading to the doctors once again and we are going to be able to possibly hear or see the heartbeat on an ultrasound. So I have heard that in most cases in the UK, I'm not sure about Japan to be honest, I don't know what the standard is, that you don't actually have your first pregnancy appointment until like eight weeks. But because we went through a fertility clinic and because we have been trying for this little baby, we found out really early and so we are very prepared, very excited for today and also incredibly nervous for what is the start of the rest of our lives, basically. Yeah! <laughs> so first things first, we are going to go and see if we can hear our little baby living and then I guess we have a lot to catch you up on. So hold on one second. How are you feeling, Papa? Yes! We have a little bean with a heartbeat. Heart was going. And it's now about 33 millimeters long, I think. 37? 3.7. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was too excited and too like emotional to actually like realize what the actual number was. But about probably the size of the end of my finger, I reckon. My pregnancy app suggests that right now you are around a ladybird size or a blueberry size, so that probably is about right, I'd say. As you can see, despite being six weeks pregnant, for now, touch wood, I am still very Genki. I have not had any morning sickness to speak of. I have been a little bit nauseous, but so far, this pregnancy has been treating me very, very kindly. I have been a little bit fussy about what I eat, but that's pretty normal. Smell, right? <laughs> yeah. You smell bad. I smell bad. I mean, I do smell you, bad. You, 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 <laughs> your smell sensation is bad. Yeah, my heightened senses. So my sense of smell has increased a million fold. Going and just walking around a home center and smelling some flowers was like, it was like overwhelming. Weirdly, the thing that I have found most offensive is coconut oil and the smell of toilet roll. I did not know that toilet roll particularly was, like even the unscented ones are very scented to me right now. But I've been very, very lucky so far. Don't move too much. Yeah, uh, that is one thing that I have to say. I think more than anything, like I'm still adjusting to having a pregnancy brain. Like I haven't quite realized until, well, when I saw this, when I saw our little heartbeat today, I cried in the doctors, but only a little bit. But it still hasn't really quite hit me in terms of like what I can and can't do yet. I'm still finding it very, very hard to like put my feet up and not do anything. You yeah, think, <laughs> yeah, you think like that would be a very easy thing to do to just chill out and not do anything. But somehow I'm still very stubborn and I haven't quite got used to basically being a vegetable yet. But it is all for a really good reason. <laughs> look, look, that there. Good the mouse. Yeah, so yeah, <laughs> that's where things stand at week six of my pregnancy. We have yet to sign up to our hospital, so next week we are going to be having our final appointment at our ladies clinic or fertility clinic. After the hospital. Things get really serious. <laughs> next week it will be one sense. <laughs> That's mad. That yeah. So I guess from now on you'll be getting updates about 
my pregnancy, our uh, pregnancy, I guess I should say. And how things work in Japan. I mean, how things work at all. I don't know how things work in the UK. It's the first time pregnancy, so it's all new to me and to you. Exciting, <laughs> scary, happy, all the emotions in our brain. It's difficult. And you don't even have pregnancy emotions. <laughs> More than anything, just thankful. To be honest, thankful yeah. that so far we're okay. Obviously it's very early days, like we're only at week six, we're halfway until knowing for sure or having a better idea that everything is going to be safe and it's going to be a healthy pregnancy, but so far so good. So fingers crossed, more touching wood and uh, we'll keep you posted on more updates as and when they happen. Mother's game is Okay, so we are now at week seven week seven <laughs> we are now at week seven and one day we have just finished our final appointment at our ladies clinic which means that next time is going to be at the big official hospital things so far have been going fairly smoothly because our little baby is now at 6.7 millimeters with a very strong heartbeat which apparently is like the average i think last time we said that it should be about one centimeter by now but apparently it should be between five millimeters and eight millimeters so growing strong and healthy but not without a little bit of queasiness so i haven't yet had any morning sickness still but there have been days where i felt like eating absolutely nothing I have felt rough as hell I basically felt like jet lagged i guess but it's okay because bear came to the rescue and took me all the way on a special trip to go and eat a shepherd's pie pie because that is about all i could feel like eating i think mixed with like talking to family at home on the phone also it's coming up to christmas so i think totally i'm a little bit homesick it's obviously not tough but it's a new challenge going through a pregnancy uh, with family abroad so i think i needed some british food and that was about as close as we could make it and basically since then i have felt like a whole new woman i am back to like almost 100 percent genki if not maybe even more so yeah so far pretty smooth i would say so that is week seven update the next thing to do is to go to the city hall and get all of the special pregnant lady packages and discount coupons for the hospital and go register where i am going to go and give birth exciting scary tanashimi <laughs> so uh today we are finally oh god i'm out of breath pregnant lady problems <laughs> um so we are finally heading out to a proper hospital where i'm gonna give birth obviously not yet so it's week eight and one day i believe i don't know what we have in store for us today basically probably lots of waiting lots of form filling maybe another ultrasound and we might be able to see our little strawberry sized pygmy seahorse sized baby moving around with the start of arms and legs so uh we'll see how it goes It has been a double whammy of a day. So we have had our most recent scan. That there is a little baby growing. Hello. <laughs> it was a lot of waiting, but we are finally signed up for the hospital. I also got my little maternity badge thing to say, let me sit down. I'm a very tired pregnant lady. I am very <laughs> tired after all of that. A lot of admin work today, but we have a healthy Genki baby. Yeah. We have our hospital sorted. We have all of our coupons uh, from the city hall. So now our healthcare will be a little bit cheaper, if not free, <laughs> which is always nice. So actually, as it turns out by, I guess, the result of an aging population, I get given money for being pregnant. So <laughs> the pros of being pregnant in Japan, of course, when the baby is born. And then we have to go and do all that admin work again by registering our baby, but ah, so much to think about. It's quite overwhelming, to be honest, but yeah, exciting. Too. Exciting, yeah. As you can probably tell, yeah, it has tired. been yeah, I'm shattered. It has been a lot, a lot of admin work, a lot of listening to uh, officials telling me things that I should be thinking about that I haven't been thinking about because right now I'm still in uh, the pregnancy glow kind of phase 
Speaking of which, I heard that a pregnant lady is supposed to get nice hair and skin, but I'm still waiting for that to happen. <laughs> anyway, we gate, lots of progress so far, lots more to think about, and a few more months to go. <sighs> I've got it! Another day, another baby skin. Nine. Yep. So week nine, possibly one day. Oh my goodness, I have a very red nose. Um, so we have just finished at the hospital or thyroid hospital actually to make sure all of my hormones are in check for our little baby because uh, thyroid hormones are way more important than anyone gives them credit for basically. So it turns out that by adjusting my medicine our baby is getting the right amount of hormones so all good news in that respect but I did have a bit of a scare today which is probably a bit TMI but uh, when I got to the hospital I noticed that I had some spotting and obviously quite worried because that can be a sign of like early sign of miscarriage and obviously having thyroid problems there is a bigger chance of miscarrying and having problems because of hormone imbalances so panicked worst you know every worst case scenario just went through my head um but basically we immediately called our other hospital um and they basically said that it's uh, maybe not exactly common but it's not uncommon so it's not too much of a worry unless i'm like gushing blood and I feel like I'm dying basically. So good news, I guess, should be nothing to worry about. And we have our next appointment there in exactly a week today when we will be seeing our next scan. So hopefully good news apart from my very red nose. I don't know if that's sunburn off or wearing a mask, but there we go. So far, everything so good, I guess, I think. Thankfully. Yeah. <laughs> It's week 10 and we have legs <laughs> and arms and a head and a body all very distinct from each other. My baby is growing. It is now 2.7 centimeters, which is tiny if you think about that it actually has limbs. But... Take a voice then. Really? Or uh, because from the camera? I don't know, but yeah. Hantuni iru. Ikiteru. Ikiteru. Kawaii! I, I just realized that I'm really, really zoomed in, but baby! I kind of thought so. Maybe camera. Maybe camera. But there's one photo, one of the scans looks very alien like. Like the arms are kind of coming from the head like antlers, but. So this is how things stand after our last appointment. I've been pretty lucky that this little bean has been giving me a smooth ride so far, and we can't wait to share the rest of the journey with you soon.